guys welcome back um today we are going to be reviewing another ipsy bag um still i have like three more to open so i literally just grabbed one and was like let's go so i don't even know what month this is but i'm pretty sure the description will tell you um once we dig in okay um this is today's look you can actually find it on my instagram if you guys enjoyed this look i do like pick tutorials and stuff like that um, my instagram will be linked in the description below so make sure to head on over there and give me a follow um but let's jump into today so this is our ipsy bag each month it comes in a cute little bag like this um and then all your goodies are on the inside um so peeking in it looks like this might have been just last month i did pause ipsy for one month just so i could try to catch up on these bags guys because it's like when i got behind they just kept coming and we have so much other cool stuff to review that i just you know i needed a break so i was like you know what i'm gonna pause ipsy and keep going but i think this was the very last one we got so here, oh, it looks like there's a loose item in here. Oh, yeah, we got a loose item. I'm assuming this is one of our items. Um, so let's go and dig in real quick. Let's review our bag. So it's this, um, like, fabric-y. The best way I can describe this fabric is kind of like your um, porch furniture cushion. <laughs> That's what this reminds me of, okay? But this is um, the bag. It's really cute. The little pull tab is a little leaf. So adorable. Um, let's dig in. The zipper is like a reddish orange. Oh, and on the inside it says force of nature. That is cute. Okay, let's pull out our little thing here. Oh, this was for May. Like I thought May's. So it says force of nature, April. Oh, no. Hang on. Oh no, this is for April. Yeah, because this is May. So this was for April. This was last month. So like I said, um, the little sheet normally tells you what you got, but we're not gonna look too much into that because we don't want to ruin it. Um, but we will just give a quick glimpse. This is one of our products. So here it is. It's a brush of some sort. It says large shader. So I'm assuming it is an eyeshadow brush. It has a little plastic wrappy on it, which is always nice. Bristles, ooh, are very soft. They are a, um, like, white with a dark brown on the top. And this is from, I'm assuming, Beau, Bay, B-E-A-U, Gotchis Large Shader Brush. The ultra soft yet densely packed synthetic bristles make sweeping eyeshadow on your lid and applying highlighter to your brow bone and cheekbone so easy so here's this item that we got all right let's keep going oh, we got some bubble wrap in here it says um eco lips lip food um nutrient dense organic lip balm so here's this one. I am not going to open it or sniff it. We do do single reviews of each item that we got. So if you see one that you really want to see first, make sure to leave a comment down below and I'll make sure to review that product first. Um, but I will read a little bit to you about it. It says lip food, protectant lip balm in vanilla lavender. Oh, the lavender is what got my hint. I was like, oh, that sounds calming. Um, it says made with a blend of organic plant-based ingredients like golden jojoba oil, cocoa butter, and coconut oil. This nourishing balm heals dry, chapped lips in just a few swipes. So there's that item. Like I said, I'm not gonna go ahead and try it out just yet because um, I do have a lot of lip balms that I am currently working through and I don't wanna like open it and waste it. So, oh, we got a few bubble wraps. So here's one of our items. It is bubble wrapped, but it looks like an eyeshadow palette. I love when things are bubble wrapped because it just gives me a sense of something amazing because they're obviously protecting it. So I'm like, yes. Okay, so it says, Chella, hello, beautiful. Um, it looks like this is ra radiant intention charisma 
and purpose. I'll open it for you and read them once more. These are very beautiful. So radiant intentions, charisma, and purpose. Um, it says the Cella Manifest Bronze Eyeshadow Palette Travel Size. It says the four shadows, including three pearl and one matte, are silky smooth, ultra blendable, and highly pigmented, allowing you to create subtle looks for day and full-on glam looks for night. Okay, so that's super cute. So I'm assuming just by the looks of it, this is your mat down here. Um, but I am going to go ahead and swatch them. Okay, so there's that one. Okay, it's very subtle. Um, probably buildable. Here is this one. Okay, that looks a little better. Try to make sure I'm not reusing fingers, y'all. Okay, there's the dark one. Okay, and now we're going to go for the matte. There's the matte one on the pinky. Okay, these are very smooth, creamy uh, cocoa color. Sorry, I kind of did it in a stupid way. Now y'all can't really see it. <laughs> Okay, well, there it is. I tried, y'all. So, that is really pretty, and I'm super excited to go ahead and try those ones out. Let's see what is next. We have a tube here. It's called um, Milk Kush Mascara. Um, maybe Milk is the is the brand. You know, I haven't gotten a mascara in a long time, honestly, from Ipsy, so I ain't even mad. Yeah, it's called um, Milk Makeup Kush High Volume Mascara Mini. It says no lash left behind. This conditioning mascara is infused with hemp derived cannabis oil to make your lashes long and lush and heart shaped fibers that lock onto lashes for a major volume and lift. Ooh, girl, she gonna put in that work. Okay. Um, ooh. Oh my god, that wand is thick. She's thicker than a snicker. Look at her. Oh my gosh, that thing is like as big as my eyeball. Okay. Well, it doesn't really go well on the hand, which does um, lead me to think that the fibers will definitely lock onto my eye because last time something was like, oh, fibers lock onto eyelashes and it didn't go on my hand. I was like, Oh, uh, that's a bad sign. But then when we actually applied it, it put in that work. So I knew mad yet. Well, we have another item, like I said, here in bubble wrap. Um, so let's see what we got. It says Saint Luke highlighter. Here we go. It's in rose cork. The boxing is absolutely gorgeous, you guys. She is pretty. Okay, so then, oh, there's like powder on the outside, so I'm hoping it's not busted when I open it. So here is the packaging once more. It's a very um, plain, sleek black, but I actually kind of like that. It's not, um, it's not overwhelming, but it's still very subtle and beautiful. Oh my God, this is a big highlighter, y'all. This is gonna last me forever. And what's really great is it has a mirror. See, look there there we are hi say hello hi hello okay um but here is the highlight itself Ooh, she looks stunning guys i don't have any more clean fingers okay here we go okay so it is pretty blinding just on the finger you see it there and then i'm gonna go ahead and rub it right here Okay. Oh, you see that? It's right there. You see it? That is beautiful. Okay. And that is the um, St. Lux Highlighter in Rose Quartz. 
the shimmery rose quartz pigments are silky blendable supremely wearable and won't create any crease or streaks all you'll see is perfect illuminating skin which is definitely what we saw so let's go ahead and recap this bag and you know finish her up here so this is the cute little bag we got um the bag is not bad it's actually really cute i wouldn't say it's one of my favorites but i wouldn't say it's one of the worst we got the really pretty highlighter i get a highlighter almost um every time i get an ipsy so i don't know if i'm really living for it i do not get many eyeshadows though so i was really excited about this item um, this item, I get so many lip balms, Ipsy, like I want makeup, not lip care. Like, yes, I love lip product, but not lip balm, okay, I mean, okay, the other item we got was the mascara, which I don't get many of, so I'm definitely excited to try a new mascara, and then I got a brush, and y'all know, you give me a brush, I am gonna be excited, so on that note, I like it. So, I think reviewing this bag honestly the bag to me isn't the cutest I do love nature but it's just not my cup of tea um, and then the lip balm and the highlighter kind of ruin it for me so I'm gonna go ahead and give this bag a three star y'all one being the best five being the worst I'm gonna go ahead and give it a three it wasn't too bad but it wasn't amazing um, well that is it for today so if you guys enjoyed this video make sure you hit that like button hit that subscribe button ring that little bell so you get notifications whenever I upload a new video and I will see you guys next time bye